Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Curious Minds Canada. In this video, we are going to see the question and answers of the class 6th science chapter 4 exploring magnets. First main, first question, fill in the blanks. Unlike poles of two magnets dash each other, where I, the like poles dash each other. Answer, attract, ripple. The materials that are attracted towards the magnet are called dash. Answer, magnetic materials. Third one, the needle of a magnet compass rests along the dash direction. Answer, north-south. Fourth one, a magnet always has dash poles. Answer, two. Second one, state whether the following statements are true or false. First one. A magnet can be broken into pieces to obtain a single pole. False. A similar poles of magnet ripple each other. True. Iron fillings mostly stick in the middle of the bar magnet when it is brought near them. False. A freely suspended bar magnet always aligns with the north-south direction. True. Third one. Column 1 shows different positions in which one pole of the magnet is placed near that of the other. Column 2 indicates the resulting interactions between them for different situations. Fill in the blanks. Column 1 they have given N, N. So it is repulsion. Then N is north-south attraction. S, N. South-north attraction. N, S. That is uh, north and south again it is attraction. According to you which of the options given in table 4.3 is likely to be his observation. Here is a question. Arthur performed an experiment in which he took a bar magnet and roll it over a heap of steel lupins. So here is the options given. The correct answer is first option position A 10 lupins. Position B, 2. Position C, 10. So, uh, the first one is a correct option. Fifth question. Reshma bought three identical metal bars from the market. Out of these bars, two were magnets and one was just a piece of iron. How will she identify which two magnets to the three could be the magnets without using any other material? Answer. Tie a thread at the center of all three metal bars and suspend them freely. Rotate them gently in horizontal direction. Let it come to rest. Mark the position on the ground. The bars which will come to rest in north-south direction can be identified as magnets. Sixth question. You are given a magnet which does not have the poles marked. How can you find its poles without the help of another magnet which has its poles marked? Answer. Bring the known north pole of the marked magnet near one end of the unmarked magnet. If attraction occurs, the unknown end is the south pole. If repulsion occurs, the unknown end is a north pole. Seventh question. A bar magnet has no markings to identify, uh, sorry, indicate its poles. How would you find out near which end its north pole is located without using another magnet? Answer. Suspend the magnet freely using a thread. The end that points north direction is the north pole of the magnet. Eighth question. If the north is itself, earth is itself a magnet, can you guess the poles of Earth's magnet by looking at the direction of a magnetic compass? Answer. The south pole of magnetic compass shows towards the geographic north pole of the Earth. This is the Earth magnetic south pole. The north pole of magnetic compass shows towards the geographic south pole of the Earth and this is the magnetic north pole. Ninth question. While a mechanic was repairing a gadget using a screwdriver, the steel screws kept falling down. Suggest a way to solve the problem of the mechanic on the basis of what you have learnt in this chapter. 
Answer. Magnetize the screwdriver by rubbing it repeatedly with one pole of the magnet. This will allow the screws to stick to the screwdriver. Tenth question. Two ring metals X and Y are arranged as shown in the figure 4.16. It is observed that the magnet X does not move down further. What could be the possible reason? Suggest a way to bring the magnet X in contact with magnet Y without pushing either of the magnets. Answer. The light poles of both magnets are facing each other. This causes repulsion. Flip one of the magnets so opposite poles face each other and this causes attraction. 11th question. Three magnets are arranged on a table in the form of shape shown in the figure 4.17. What is the polarity in N or S at the ends 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 of the magnets? Polarity of 1 and 5 is given for you. End phi polarity is N, that is north. And this is the picture. So, sixth will be the south and fourth also will be the south. Three will be north, two will be south and one will be the north. Now, we will see the extra questions. First one, choose the correct answers. When a bar magnet is brought near to the iron pieces, maximum pieces stick to dash poles. Answer is both the poles. Second one, dash can be magnetized. Answer, iron nails. Third one, dash decreases when a magnet is beaten or heated with a hammer. Answer is magnetic property. Fourth one. The substance which is used to separate iron pieces from garbage is dash. Answer is magnet. Fifth one. Horseshoe magnet has dash poles. Answer is two. Next that is stay true or false. All parts of magnets attract magnetic materials equally. False. If a bar magnet north pole is moved towards the north pole of a needle of a magnetic compass, the needle moves away from the magnet. True. Magnet attracts wooden pieces. False. The broken pieces of magnet have only one pole. False. Third main. Match the following. We will match it now. Unlike poles, attracts. Paper is non-magnetic. Lodestone, it's naturally occurring magnet. Magnetic compass is used by sailor. Bar magnet, it is an artificial magnet. Fourth main, answer in two to three sentences. First question, what are magnetic and non-magnetic substances? Give examples. Answer, the materials which are attracted by a magnet are called as magnetic materials. Example, iron. The materials which are not attracted by the magnet are called non-magnetic materials. Example, paper. Second question, list any four characteristics of magnets. Answer, magnets attract magnetic materials. Magnet has two poles, that is north and south. Like poles repel each other. Unlike poles attract each other. Third question, Sita and Gita had a magnet with them. Gita's magnet was broken. She feels that her broken magnet has only one pole. But Sita says that the magnet has two poles. Who among the two is correct? Justify your answer. Answer. Sita is correct. It is not possible to obtain a magnet with a single pole. Even if the magnet is broken into smaller pieces, the smallest piece has both north and south pole. Fourth question, give reason. Why does needle of a magnet compass always lies in north and south direction while resting? Answer, a freely suspended magnet always comes to rest in north-south direction because our earth itself behaves like a giant magnet. 
fifth question how to preserve magnets explain answer while storing a magnet keep the unlike poles in the same side and keep a piece of wood in between do not heat drop or hammer the magnet sixth one list out different shapes of magnet and draw them neatly answer different shapes of magnets are bar magnet U shaped magnet, cylindrical magnet and spherical magnet you can draw the pictures of each. So these are the answers for the questions given in your textbook along with that I have given some extra questions which will be helpful for you all. If yes please do like this video, share it and if you have not yet subscribed our channel please subscribe it. Thank you.